Hello, everyone, and welcome to another session of Virtues in Five Minutes or Less, or a little more if we need it, (laughs) because it's important. If you believe that this life is like a school for the soul, and I do, then it's really important to focus on today's virtue, the virtue of acceptance. This important life lesson was expressed really succinctly by the beloved author and psychiatrist M. Scott Peck in his book, The Road Less Traveled. He wrote, life is hard. Life is hard, and it's getting harder all the time. So again, it's why it's really important to look at the virtue of acceptance today. Acceptance is embracing life on its own terms, to quote Linda Kavalan Popoff, who is one of the authors of The Virtues Project. It is accepting that life may not go as we please all the time, that we can't always fix everything or change everything, and sometimes we just have to admit that it is what it is, and we have to do our best to deal with it. With acceptance, we can become resilient. We won't be shattered by some terrible experience. We will lean into it We will accept what's happened, and we will grow from it. We'll learn whatever lesson is contained in it. We don't remain stuck if, for example, we hate the fact that we've made a mistake or messed something up. We don't get stuck there. We honestly admit our mistakes and our errors, and then we forgive ourselves and we make a commitment to use our willpower and our strength to do better then we honestly examine ours and others' good qualities, and we don't focus on the negative ones. We don't dwell on the unpleasant things of life. We move forward. Hopefully, we gain wisdom in the process. The situation with COVID-19 is a great example. The potential for learning profound lessons from this crisis are immense if we have the courage to face reality. We have the potential to learn about the interconnectedness of all of us on this planet. There's the potential to strengthen our resolve to work for the good of all, not just stopping at national or even personal boundaries. Some people are rising to this challenge. They're broadening their vision. They're strengthening that resolve that we talked about. Other people, sadly, are stuck in negativity. They're looking for people or something to blame. They may feel that they're victimized somehow. They may assign cynical motives to anyone or anything that prevents them from avoiding facing the reality of the situation. They won't accept the reality that things cannot go back to normal at this point, and they really shouldn't anyway. There are things we need to change all over the world. By the same token, because this situation is really true for all kinds of challenges, and by that I mean we can't continue to avoid facing long-lived dilemmas that have remained with us for centuries, things like racism and poverty. On the personal level, self-acceptance helps liberate us from being stuck. Acceptance has so many ramifications and such possible benefits for us. There's a wonderful quote by a Dr. Russell Harris I'm going to read for you now. He says, Running away from any problem only increases the distance from the solution. The easiest way to escape from the problem is to solve it. I'm going to read that again. Running away from any problem only increases the distance from the solution. The easiest way to escape from the problem is to solve it. We're all familiar with the aptly named serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. With acceptance, we are well on our way to achieving those goals. This life is going to be filled with financial crises, 
personal crises, the death of a loved one, a pandemic, hopefully not too many more, and so on. With acceptance, we can do more than just survive these crises. Once we accept what has happened or what is happening, then we can grow, we can learn, we can hopefully become wise. We'll grow in love and virtue. And after all, isn't that the goal of this life?